Hi everyone, it's Daisy. Welcome to my channel. Now, something quite big happened uh, a couple of weekends ago. You see, um, many of you who tune into my live streams will know that I am very much in love with a gentleman by the name of Callum. Um, he has been my boyfriend, he has been my fiance, and as of a couple of weeks ends ago, he is now my husband. Yes, Callum and I eloped in sort of pretty much the literal sense of the term to beautiful Tasmania. Um, and the reason that we did this is because, you know, you all know my opinion on Australia's horrendous COVID policies, the border closures, the lockdowns, the mandates, you know, every, everything down here is absolutely horrendous at the moment and I'm just hating it. Um, and what it has meant is that unfortunately, we like so many other couples in Australia have now had to postpone our wedding two times. We thought we'd only have to postpone it once, so we postponed it from the end of last year to the end of this year, and then several weeks ago we made the call uh, to postpone it again. Um, and this is because we're meant to be getting married in Sydney, and of course there's this dreadful lockdown going on, although some of them are coming out of it on Monday if they're part of the kind of clean, vaccinated cast. But for videos on that, uh, go to my main channel. Uh, <laughs> this is my fun channel. Um, anyway, so we decided we wanted to stop putting it off. We wanted to be able to affirm our love for each other and commitment to each other. And more than anything else, we really felt like we had lost control of our lives, that these politicians, these stupid, unscrupulous premiers who are have proven again and again and again, given the disproportionate nature of their reaction, that they are only in it to further their own political careers. I don't believe they care about people or public health one little bit. Um, we just felt that these dreadful people had totally taken all our agency away from us. So we thought, well, look, we want to take that control back. Um, so that's what we did. Uh, we decided to do it with just the two of us and in Tasmania because that's neutral territory. Um, we could have had the option of just having a, well, well anyway, back a bit. Um, we got married in a little private civil ceremony and the plan is to have the big ceremony, so the blessing of the union um, and then the big reception next year. Um, at a time when it's when we are actually able to do so with all the people we want there and in the venue that we want. Uh, but this little civil ceremony was just a way of, of really committing to each other and getting on with our lives. And as I was saying, we could, have, we could have done it up in Brisbane and had some of Callum's family there as witnesses, but then all of us would have just felt so crummy that my parents couldn't be in there. I, I, I would have hated that, Callum would have hated that, Callum's parents would have hated it. Um, it would have just been horrible. So we decided to do it with just the two of us um, down in a, in a different state because it's like one of the only open borders in Australia at the moment. The border to New South Wales and Queensland is firmly closed, firmly for the time being. Hopefully it'll open soon enough. Um, but yes, we thought, we don't want to be able to celebrate with just some people and not others. We want to be able to celebrate with everyone we love at the same time. So that's why we decided um, to do it this way. And it was really lovely. It was freezing cold, but beautifully sunny. And um, we did a lovely, lovely celebrant. He was just so, so nice. And he made it very special for us. Um, he found us some witnesses. Um, so we could just have totally neutral people who were lovely. They took some really nice photos, like some really good chat. Um, and it was great. And then the lovely thing was that after we had the little ceremony, um, we left the venue where we were having the civil service and looked out and lo and behold, there was a double rainbow. A beautiful double rainbow just sitting there as soon as we came out of the house out of the out of the house so I'm hoping that that is a good thing that there was a double rainbow there because we had a really 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 lovely time and we're very 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 happy being married um, it's a really good feeling it just feels like you know it feels like we're grown-ups does <laughs> It's, you know what I mean? It's, it feels like we've graduated onto something, onto another phase. And that was, I think what we were so upset about missing was that we were, we felt we were being prevented from doing that. And while, you know, certainly eloping and just having the two of us is, is not what we, not what we envisioned or, or, or wanted. And we will 150% certainly be having that lovely big church ceremony. And then that lovely big reception afterwards that will all be happening next year with everyone that we love. Um, it was still a lovely thing to do and I'm very glad that we did it. So that is just my uh, life update for you all. Um, sending so much love to everyone. 
Um, and um, please, well, tell, let me know if you like this kind of life update content, by the way. You know, I'm still developing this channel. I'm really having a nice time. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do more of this style of video whenever something, you know, momentous happens in my life because I love making all this kind of stuff. Um, and please subscribe to my main channel as well if you haven't already. Uh, the link is in the video description. Uh, much love to you all and I'll see you all very, very soon.